Good morning, paint pouring community. Um, not sure if any, any of you are out there today because it's um, so close to Christmas. I kind of feel that everybody might be um, not watching videos on YouTube and maybe out there with family and friends and just enjoying Christmas, which I really hope you are. But if any of you are um, yeah, having some downtime and sitting watching um, YouTube, then welcome. Today I'm going to try and recreate this that I did um, I think about 10 days ago now. Uh, it's all nice and dry, it's drying beautifully. I did this uh, using my normal Montmartre paints, the studio acrylics, but instead of using Elmer's glue all as my pouring medium, I used the Montmartre clear PVA glue at still the same ratio that I normally use, which is 70% uh, glue. So I took that much glue out of this bottle and then added 30% water, my guesstimate, and then give it a good shake. I find that just adding slightly warm water when you're uh, doing, making up your pouring medium just seems to give me better results. So I was just so happy with the results from this clear PVA. Um, and I've just got, oh, you've got some more coming on order uh, that I order through the online, the Australian online um, supplier, Cabriol Chapichy. If you look at the drop down box there where I have the description of all what I've done, you'll find a link to uh, the online art store. If you're in the USA, you can find all of these products, I am told, on Amazon. Uh, you can find all the lovely Montmartre Studio acrylics. So that's what I've been using for quite a long time now to get, and I'm getting rid of my, um, what I used to paint with, which was the Global. Um, today I am going to use one, uh, it's, it, it was to replace the global paints, it's called El Rald Araldo. I don't find it that good quality paint, but I wanted a gold, a goldy gold. So I am using the gold from that today, but the rest will be my Montmartre Studio Acrylics with the clear PVA. So yes, this is what I did with the um, clear PVA, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 days ago now. So when this is fully dry, which looks like it'll be very soon, because it turned out so vibrant, gorgeous cells, I was so excited to find in Australia something that's equal, equally um, impressive as what the Elmer's glue all is for a pouring medium. So as you can see, it just gave some excellent, excellent results with such bright colours with my Montmartre. So I'm going to recreate this on a bigger canvas. So because um, this one is uh, gone, sold, and so I'm going to do it on a bigger canvas for you guys today. And praying with the pouring gods that I get the same result as I did on that one because I am mixing a bit of the, the different paint brands gold in. But we'll give it a try. So today I'm going to uh, mix it up, meaning that I've made this colour up myself and it, it is, I always forget to um, include this because and, and, and when I do remember, I think, oh my God, that's such a gorgeous, it's crimson. It's like a deep aubergine colour. And what I make it up with is the cool red, the deepest red, uh, it's called cool red, and then I add some of the just a blob of the phalo blue phalo phalo blue um and you get this gorgeous gorgeous crimson color so that is just so rich and gorgeous i thought we'll go um i'm going to change the colors from what i did before but i'm just going to try this so here goes here goes here goes I was going to try uh, doing the um, swifty swipe in, in a spiral pour, but 
I kind of know that the person that wants this loved the other style so much, so I'll stick with what I know she likes um, and just, yeah, see what I can bring up with this. But so just seeing if I can get the kind of same results, which would be nice. So this is the uh, Montmartre turquoise. Oh, I've said it hundreds of times. I just love their turquoise because I can change it. I can add blue to make it more of a teal. I can add some to white, which just is nice pale. It's just a beautiful colour and just looks so good with so many other colours, especially the oranges and reds it looks good with. And look at it with this... Um, Crimson, 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 is that what they call it? So now I'm gonna just throw in the mixes the, diff the different paint brands. So I'm just hoping that this doesn't throw my whole thing out to, you know, not be as good as the other results. So this is this El Rado, this is gold. What's, it is called metallic treasure. So I made up all these paints yesterday um, as I've told you if you follow my channel I always make my paints up 24 hours before I do a pour at least I make them up and I add only one to two drops of the Helmar silicon I'm putting plenty of this gold on because it seems to just vanish so I know that well I'm hoping that some of it stays there sort of bringing up the rich you know the rich colors that I'm using today yes yeah, so I make up these paints 20 at least 24 hours with my pouring medium then I only add one to two drops of the I just find that less is better with the Helmar silicon but I just adore the Helmar silicon it's really really good you can get this in the US it's an Australian made product but a few of um my people in the US have said they can get it for under six dollars and it's under six dollars from online um, supplier in Australia and it and it does a wonderful job really does a wonderful job now I've got all other colors here like orange and yellow but I'm not going to throw them in the mix because I kind of want this looking real sort of classy looking um, whether I achieve that's a whole different story isn't it but I will try. So now I've just got the plain everyday Montmartre Studio Acrylics in white. So I'm going to put some of that in there. yeah the crazy time of year I don't really want to go out to the we've got a beautiful little country town that I live in um, and even though it's nowhere near as busy as what the cities are I just prefer to stay away this time of year if I can so if I've got any shopping to do which I've had a lot of shopping to do because I've got so many people coming for Chrissy but try to get out really early in the morning before the crowds and um, get back do my things that I've got to do around the house and then that frees up my time to come into this studio which is you know just my love at, I just love doing this what I do so to be able to actually share it on a YouTube channel which never thought in my wildest dreams I would be doing and I don't think my adult children ever thought but I must say my adult children have been so supportive super proud so it's all good isn't it it's all good where we actually love those colors together so just give it that gentle tilt covering it everywhere if it doesn't you know cover your corners don't worry just finger pop the corners they're absolutely perfectly fine looks just as yummy 
so don't sort of stress if you haven't got everywhere with that with the paint you can always uh, finger pop with the leftover paint so 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 what I'm going to uh, swipe with today is where I've just made it up where's it gone okay there I'm going to swipe with the navy as again I just want to keep it kind of classy looking um, I'm going to swipe with the navy and I made up this navy out of the phthalo blue one blob of black and one blob of green deep just checking my video because yesterday I did a fantastic pour that turned out so good and when I looked at my video, it had stopped at 17 seconds. I was thinking, oh. So I actually scraped um, the piece because I want to redo it and do it in front of you because it was such a cool effect. But I'll get to that <laughs> another time. Okay, so that was that's my uh, navy. Easy to make up if anyone wants to make navy and you can make it as dark or as... Uh, lighter as you like just with the phalo blue one blob of black and one blob of green deep deep green and it's so much nicer than using black it on its own it's so much nicer so I'm just doing one thin stripe across one thin line walk the thin line I am going to use what's gonna try my I might try my silicone a brush in a few places just to give it a little burl because this silicone brush is two dollars they're used for as a pastry brush but they do give some really cool effects in a swipe so I just might have a little go of that just to see if I can get anything um, interesting to come up so this is the uh, soft plastic file divider so oh or instantly that that um, ugh, that clear PVA in the Montmartre is like magic juice I'm telling you so nice really really happy with it but that's I mean very early stages I know but I've just got a feeling that it's going to be very yummy so just gently taking your file divider down your, your piece or whatever you may use for swiping but if anybody that knows me I'm just absolutely adore the uh, plastic file divider it's easy you can put the amount of pressure on or off it that you require and turn it around yeah. okay so it's a little bit oh, okay I'm sticking to the bottom Oh my goodness. I normally go round and do it from the other side, but I've got another painting drying there and I don't want to dip my shirt in it. So look at those cells. That's coming up just like a basically a reflection swipe. So anybody that just wanted to use this kind of background in a in a piece and they wanted to embellish the centre it's perfect for that too so 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 far so good even with the gold that's not the same i just thought that gold might throw it out a bit but okay let's just let about a centimeter drop into the paint but don't press it in or anything because it's the weight of this soft plastic is heavy enough to just drop in the right amount of pressure onto your paint. I just want to thank so many of you for the very kind comments and the following my art journey. Um, just, just, oh, it's just overwhelming the support and um, beautiful comments I get from you all and, and telling me about your art journey or even people that haven't started an art journey but just find it quite therapeutic to actually watch which is oh that's excellent too I'm happy with that and thank you for
for everyone that has subscribed I am so appreciative if you haven't subscribed please do so it costs you nothing and I ask you for nothing um, but it helps me thank you so should I or shouldn't I I feel that there's some people out there screaming don't do it you know what if I try it and it gives a fantastic effect all good but if it doesn't then you know what uh, nothing ventured nothing gained so I'm just going to see if just doing a few few oh, <laughs> oh I like that I like it maybe not straight lines that's not me is it straight lines Just, yeah, trying to clean off in between each because I don't want it to go muddy. It just gives it a little bit of point of difference. I'm going to keep going with it and see. So this is just my little silicone brush. Oh yeah. Just throws a little bit of a different dimension in there it's I mean it probably would look quite good going through the whole painting with the silicone brush but I just want to just throw in a, just a point of difference that's enough I'm going to um, I'm going to torch it Colours. I mean, I know that you can't really see anything at this point in time, but I just know they're, they're there and they're going to shine. Always remaining positive. You have to remain positive. Okay, just with my butane torch. I have got a, another heat torch coming to give it a try for people that don't actually want to use or scared to use a heat torch. Oh, look at these. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so um, when, after Christmas, obviously now, I'll be uh, trialing my heat torch to see what kind of effect I get with my heat torch as opposed to uh, the butane. Because, yeah, lots of people say, just can't use it, just too scared. And I. I absolutely um, understand that you, oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm in love with this stuff it is it is a game changer look at the cells from it the cells within it's absolutely stunning it's like a bag full of gems I'm gonna try and bring you down closer because that is stunning really stunning and with the silicone brush effect in it oh my gosh this camera uh, on well I'm just filming from my iPad doesn't seem to give the detail you know looking into it now but I'll try with my iPhone and see if I can get some better detail I'll, I just want to leave it there that is so gorgeous I'm not sure if I can get closer for the cells. Look at the cells. There's like little cells within cells. The colours are coming through just like gems. Precious gems. And that definitely the silicon brush through there added like a 3D effect. It looks like the cells are floating. Or the gems are floating. That's, that's just beautiful. People, you've got to try that clear pouring medium of Montmartre and it's available all over the world so give it a go it is a game changer really really excellent I'm happy I'm sure I will do a video before Christmas but if I don't you guys everybody just be happy have a wonderful time with whoever you're with if you're on your own jump onto YouTube and watch all your favorites on YouTube you'll never feel alone because there's always somebody out there to make you feel welcome so be good guys be kind and until next time bye for now